It's a great view, but where are the dinosaurs? There should be Triceratops out there. Sometimes they're kind of hard to spot. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get those? Uh, these? Yeah, those. That, um, guy gave them to me, your boss, John Hammer, or whatever. He likes me. That was generous of him. Yeah. I see jungle and stuff, but no dinos. Just look around. You'll find them. 
there's a car down there. Must be Hammond's visitors. He's got some hotshot paleontologists here to see the park. I bet they get to see some dinos up close. Okay, I see her. Wait, there's a bunch of them. Oh, awesome. They're fighting. I totally wanted to see this. Well, actually, it's more of a dominance display than a fight. You remember how patchy was when your mom got that new puppy? Lady Margaret's like that with the younger Triceratops. Seriously? Lady Margaret? Yep, that's what we call the Alpha. See those horns? They're more than three feet long. Good for fighting T-Rex, right? When do we get to see that? <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm busy enough without holding gladiator fights. Which reminds me, remember I said I've got a sick Triceratops to check on? I should get going. I'll drop you at the guest house. Really? Already? Well, it'll give you some time to pack your stuff. The boat leaves tonight, remember? I don't have any stuff. I practically just got here. Well, at least you got to see Triceratops fight. Actually, it was more like a dominance display. Smart ass. Come on, let's go. It's up for clear skies tonight. No fun on that boat when the waves are rough. Nedry isn't here. Bad bastard's probably stuck in a doorway somewhere. Don't worry about it. Plan B is ready. I have Plan B right here. Nedry's not gonna double cross us. The money's too good. No, she doesn't know your name. She doesn't know anything she doesn't need to know. What, do you think it matters? Hey, guess who's on the line? It's Dodgson. I got Dodgson here. She doesn't care. Come on! My contact's gonna be here any minute! Does InGen know you stole their jacket? This is a covert op. I gotta blend in. Yes, yeah, so what about me? Just, uh, follow my lead. What's in the photo? This? This is what's gonna make us both rich. It's what we're here to collect. Shaving cream. Uh-huh, sure. Shaving cream. This storm is only gonna get worse. Just relax. Chances are Nedry's gonna show up All at the last minute. Crew, please board the vessel. We'll be casting off shortly. Son of a... <sighs> okay, I guess we're going in after him. If anyone stops us, show him this... Uh, this... What's the problem? We need access passes to get past security. Damn it, Dutch. I gotta make a phone call to an idiot. Don't let anyone see you. Without those passes, we're cooked. Great, thanks a lot. Very helpful. Well, we're hosed. Maybe not. What do you mean? I got the guard's phone number. Call him and keep him busy. What, then you sneak past and I stay here? Well, that's not gonna work. No, Baboso. I can get us the access passes. Fine. What should I tell him? Just keep him talking. No, oh, no, like I said, I worked the morning shift, but that was only as a fill-in, because they were a man down. Yeah, but hold on, there's one more... Hey! I thought you said... Oh. Okay, that was good, but... Hey, hey, hold on a second. You work for me, remember? That means I hold call the there. shot. You can't go that way. Hello there. Hi. Uh, uh, we have passes. Well, that's good, but this is a storm evacuation. All non-essential personnel need to leave the island. You need to get on that boat. Yes! I, I mean, I, I have some, uh, some essential... Who are you with? I'm, I'm with you! I'm new. What about her? She's, she's, uh, she's with maintenance. <clears throat> Go ahead, tell him. Pass control, you have a... Pest problem. 
Ain't that the truth. You gonna solve it in the middle of a storm? What kind of pests are we talking about anyway? Fighters. Big ones. You don't want to wait. What's with the machete? It's for cutting plants to get to the pests. Anchor up in five. All aboard now. This means you, Marty. I don't have time for this. Do you vouch for her? What? I said, do you vouch for her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move your butts. Next time you better let me do the talking. If they go knock us. At least, the rain's easing up. Ow! InGen should have paved this whole island. InGen should never have come here. What? Step back, Mr. Chadwick. What, you don't like my aftershave? I don't want any accidents. Monstrosidad. Engine is ruining the island. Is it so important to keep people out? Uh, it's more about keeping things in. J no, just it's it, it's just it's sort of like a zoo. You know what I mean? A zoo? For what? Don't don't worry about it. There's nothing you know dangerous in there. Just find find a way through. Ten thousand volts. Why so much? Probably just trying to keep out the teenagers. I bet that means the power's out, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies first. Oh, thank God. I, I mean, you know, it's just... Lead the way. What is it? Es esto. No paquero. Like a bird. But much too big. I, I told you, it's a zoo. All kinds of animals. Come on, get moving. We're close. Did you hear that? What was that? An animal. Something I've never heard before. Okay, well, let's... We, we should... Animal, I know. We call him Mokupa. I hate this damn chuckle. Look, this way. This is it. The signal's topped out. It's nearby. It's too dark. I need light. Where's your flashlight? You took it. Right, right. Did I drop it? Did you see me drop it? Damn it. Over there. There we go. Hey, Nedry! You get stuck or something? Nedry, you deaf? I'm not climbing that in my new Stavalis. Hey, I'm gonna go around. It'll be faster. So 
Somebody in there? Out, huh? I told you it was better to go around. Something just jumped me. He was on your friend here. Oh, disgusting. There was something feeding on him. What the hell kind of zoo is this? Listen, I told you don't worry about it, okay? It was it was just some animal. We'll get the canister and then we're out of here. Where is it? I can't find it! Where's the canister? The shaving cream, where is it? How should I know? If it's not in the car, it could be anywhere within 300 meters. Crap. Oh, Dodson's gonna kill me. Is Dodson gonna kill me? Don't worry about him. Worry about that thing. I'm worried about it, okay? What am I supposed to do? You know we can't go back empty-handed. Look there. Look where? Prince, your man took a walk. We follow his trail like tracking game. That's how we find the canister. Right. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, whoa. but hold on. What if one of those, uh... Oh, okay, you look down there and I'll, I'll check the car again. Just, uh, just, just in case. the tree with a winch line. Then, something got interested. Something hungry. Ah! <gasps> Friggin' bugs! What? What's the problem? Nothing. Did you find it? The canister's not here. Crap. Oh, I'm so screwed. No, we can't give up. His trail ends back at the car. You must have missed something in there. Not a chance. I turned that thing inside out. I'm gonna smell like a dead fat dude for a week. Fine. I'll take a look. Knock yourself out. I could use some fresh air. Nothing. You like your sweets, eh, gordito? You had a canister just about this size, didn't you? You didn't lose it down below. You had it with you. He came back to the car in a rush. He hit his head and he fell. If he dropped the can. I knew I'd find you! You're pretty excited about a can of soap. Yeah, it's a can of soap. Just like you're an exterminator. Ten years of research. Millions invested. It's the next wonder of the world. You want to screw in, Jen? This is it. The crown jewels. They lose control of this, they got nothing. They're dinosaur embryos, honey. Don't tell me you thought we were after shaving cream. Dinosaurs? I don't understand. You don't need to understand. That'll keep them fresh. 
What? What's your problem? Do not move. What? Why? Oh, crap. you do it yeah that's what you get you little punk let's get out of here okay all right all right you know the plan my, my boys are sending a boat we bring them the canister we get paid we go home we cannot walk to the meeting place not with these monstros around here right we'll take the car bring down the car i'll, I'll stay here and uh i'll cover you who's afraid now huh covered. Get it tight. There we go. Gracias a Dios. What? Oh, God.
Klecz. Andale, vamos a arrancar. Vamos. We are officially late. I was ready when you said. I just couldn't find my CD player. It's fine, sweetheart. They won't leave without us. Us? You're coming to Dallas? Oh, just to the mainland. I, I have to be back after the storm. I'll drive you to the airport. Cool. That's weird. The fence lights are out. Is that a bad thing? I'm sure it's fine. Somebody just needs to replace them. So, everything okay at home? I mean, how's school going? I don't know. Boring. I got a big Spanish test coming up. Well, I can't help you there. But your mom knows a little Spanish. Look, Jess, I've been working so hard. We just, we haven't had much time to talk. Uh-oh. Jess, your mom told me about the, the shoplifting. I, I was just fooling around. I didn't take anything good. What did she say? Well, she's worried about you, honey. I know, she gets dramatic, but... It was a shock for her. Got me a little worried, too. I know, I know, I'm a screw up. Sweetheart, no. No, it's, it's not that at all. I just... I want you to promise Dad. me... Damn it! Oh my god, is she dead? No, no. She's alive. She's breathing. Hello. Can you move? This is strange. It's like some kind of... Oh. She needs medical attention. We've got to get her to the visitor center. Who is she? Do you know her? I don't recognize her, but it doesn't matter. Were you serious when you said you can drive a stick? Oh yeah, I, I can do it. Mom doesn't know, but... That's all right. Just get yourself up front. Try not to scare me. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on, sweetheart. We gotta get her out of here. <sighs> Hard enough, but we didn't do this. This is, this is something else. I'm gonna check her vitals. Just take it easy and follow the signs, all right? Okay, no problem. What is this? What? Looks like she's been bitten. Bitten? Y you mean, like, by a dinosaur? I don't know. Oh, the bruising is showing evidence of toxins, but this isn't a Dilophosaur bite. None of the other dinosaurs are poisonous. I don't think I want to be out here anymore. Yeah, we need to get her to the visitor center. She's bradycardic. Heart rate's only 33. Oh, she's burning up. What's wrong with her eyes? I don't. I don't know. It's it's like a reaction to a parasitic infection. To 
God, I don't know, maybe, maybe toxoplasmosis. That doesn't explain the other symptoms. Come on, come on. Stay with me now. Jesse, I gotta clean this wound up. Just keep driving smoothly. Okay. Okay, this might sting a bit. It's okay, it's okay. Settle down. Hey, listen to me. You need to let me help you. No, no, listen. I'm a doctor. I'm gonna make it better. Doctor? Medico? Yes, Medico. I'm going to disinfect your wound now, okay? You gotta let me help you. Well, that should keep the infection at bay. I don't know what you were doing out there, but... Dad? It's okay. She's going into shock, but I can handle it. I can stop it. Oh my god, bad. Watch the door. Gotcha. Wow, that needle's huge. Just keep your eyes on the road. Up. You okay to keep driving? Yeah, I'm good. Tell mom I'm ready for my learner's permit, okay? <laughs> I don't think mom needs to know about it. How is she doing? Well, she's okay. For now. But this toxic alteration just doesn't make sense. Dad. Maybe some of the dinosaurs are eating poisonous Dad. plants. Jess, why are we stopping? Right. Well, we're lucky this young one's by herself. Wouldn't want to meet the Alpha out here. Lady Margaret, she's uh, pretty protective. We've discovered that family groups emerge even without the usual genetic relationships. Young Triceratops join the family Dad, the moment they... you're ruining it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. This little one's name is Bakita. What is she doing way out here? Got to get this critter back in her enclosure. I'll just be a sec. Wait here. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Easy, girl. Musa Kalamusa, huh? You really love this stuff, don't you? go back where you belong now I can close that gate uh-uh no you don't get back in there Jess I'm on
You okay? Whoa! Two arms, two legs. <sighs> well, that should get her through the night. What's left of it? Tomorrow, we'll get her proper treatment. Come on, Jesse. We're safe now. Yeah. That reminds me of your old honey bear nightlight. Remember that? You wouldn't go to sleep without it. Yeah, dinosaurs can't get through that door, right? Well, they could try, but they couldn't possibly fit through. Dad? Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Remember how I said I wanted to see the dinosaurs fight each other? Yeah. That was so awesome. Get some sleep, honey.
Take one. I'm not sure Lady Margaret made it. Oh, right. Wow. This isn't supposed to happen. One loose trike, okay, but a Tyrannosaur? That's beyond unacceptable. I gotta talk to Muldoon and the security team. Uh-oh. Are you gonna bring the hammer down? Look, whoever let this happen has to be held accountable. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the hammer down. Cool. So, how are we gonna get to the visitor center? That's an excellent question. No car and no radio doesn't leave us a lot of options. Well, at least the main power's back on. That should be good for something. And we have video. How did you do that? It's an easy hack. The system's held together with spit and bailing wire, like everything else in this damn park. Looks like we're not the only ones who missed the boat. It won't last long in the open. Let's get them out of there. How do we get to them? We're miles away, and the access road is washed out. We would be stuck here in the boondocks, but those two are standing right on the main tour loop. Watch this. Ah, here we go. That is more like it. I've been saying this whole park is doomed to catastrophic failure. Pretty long. But one of these junk heaps is still working. Okay, little lambs, just wait right there and I'll send a car to fetch you. Somebody knows we're here. You told me never, ever hitchhike. Except when you're on an island full of dinosaurs. Come on, honey, let's get our patient. <sighs> Where's this thing gonna take us? These tour cars only go a few places. If you can hear us, we need to go to the visitor center. Looks like one of them's hurt. I'm surprised it's only one. Let's get him to the center. Here we go. Can't this car go any faster? It's gonna take forever. Oh. Qué haces aquí? Es peligroso. You've been in an accident. You're safe now. You're gonna be fine. We're taking you to. Bastardo! Morirás por tus pecados! Calm down! What's happening? She's delirious. She could be hallucinating. Mariquita! Angelito mío. She says I I'm, I'm her angel. Hola, ¿cómo estás? No sabes cuánto he esperado. Jess, just keep talking to her. Tell her she needs to relax. She's got to rest. My Spanish isn't that good. You can do it, honey. Just, just tell her she needs to rest. Mariquita! ¿Qué pasa, mi amor? Uh, uh... ¿Usted? Necesita. ¿El descanso? ¿Usted necesita el descanso? ¿El descanso? Sí, sí. Estoy cansada. Huh. I guess summer school paid off. Miss Ortega's never gonna believe this. Dad, look! I think this is our stop. This concludes our tour. Don't forget to visit the gift shop on your way home. That is messed up. Let's go. Hello? 
Hey, can somebody help us, please? Hello? What happened? Where is everybody? Jess, I think you should stay by our patient. I'm gonna look around a little, okay? Okay, but why are you talking like that? Someone's trying to contact us, right? It's coming from the PA system. They must be broadcasting on the emergency channel. Hang on, I'm gonna track this down. Seriously, messed up. There's a radio in there. Can I help? You got it! Let's get this channel right. Jerry Harding. I'm the chief veterinarian. I know who you are. This is Laura Sorkin. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Dr. Sorkin, you're still on the island? We're stuck in the field lab. The road's washed out and our phone lines are down. What's your story? We saw a T-Rex on the tour road. My daughter and I are lucky to be alive. Do you know what's going on? Security went down last night. Naturally, the park's going to hell. Looks like Hammond already evacuated. I don't think he meant to leave us. No, of course not. I'll try to call the mainland from here. They'll send a helicopter. But first, Doctor, I've got a very, very sick woman on my hands. She seems to have been bitten. I, I don't recognize the bite. Whatever it is, it's incredibly toxic. toxic. And Is it a ragged wound? Heterodont bite pattern about 20 centimeters across the jaw? That sounds about right. What about her eyes? Discolored sclera, opsoclonus? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm Damn seeing. It. You don't have much time. She's going to go into a series of convulsions and she won't come back. Do you have any carfentanil? Carfentanil? An opioid? No, I, I don't, Doctor, but I mean, what good would that- I don't have time to explain. A quarter mil should do it. Less uh, Dr. Sorkin, go. with all due respect, that dosage would kill Dr. Her. Harding, you've got to trust me on this. You need a powerful tranquilizer to counter the toxins. You Quick. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, maybe in the lab. No. No. Wait. The trank darts for the rifle. That's in a torphine blend. That could work. Get that into her as quick as you can. In the meantime, stay with her. When the shaking starts, you need to hold her steady. Isn't that dangerous? I mean, normally if someone's having a seizure. Please just follow my instructions. Her life depends on it. Call me on this channel after you've given her the tranquilizer. Will do. I need to move that woman so I can work on her, and I'm gonna tranquilizer need tranquilizer darts. Yeah, I heard. They're in the car. I'll get them. Okay, but listen to me. If you hear anything, see anything, don't take any risks. You just come straight back here. Don't worry. I'm on it. You're moving! 
good. Dad? Yeah. What? <laughs> I've seen enough dinosaurs. In that case, let's go home. Come on. I need to make a phone call. Has it been? We found you last night. We sort of, like, ran into you. Maldita sea. So, who is Mariquita? Mariquita? It's, it's nobody. A word. Oh, my Spanish is so lame. I was trying to talk to you in the car, and it's like, I thought you were gonna kill me because my grammar sucks. So, um, what did we talk about? Help's on the way. The control room's a mess, but the phones are working. Hey, you look a whole lot better. Help is on the way? Ian Jen is sending a rescue team. A helicopter will be here soon to take us to the mainland. We'll get you looked at by a people doctor instead of a vet. A rescue team? Ian My things. I had a pack. Oh, it's right here. Huh. You were in pretty bad shape there for a while. Bad shape? You almost died, but my dad patched you up. I had a pretty great assistant. Thank you. Both of you. Yeah, well, I'll send you a bill later. Now, can you tell us what happened? I'm here for pest control. You have a pest problem. You know what? I don't have time for this. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't push yourself. There won't be any rescue. Not for you.
the hell? Decaf, keep the engine running. Be ready to get us out of here. Roger. Oscar, it's Garza. But dinosaurs didn't take him down. It looks like he was shot to death. Man, those are some serious trank darts. That's one big footprint. Looks like the chopper was shot down trying to take off. Damn, Linaris. What were you shooting at? Didn't even go for cover. Billy, get up here. I don't know what... Shh. Get away from me, dammit! Get away! What the hell? Vargas. Decaf, we're going in. Watch your ass out there. Watch your six. Trust no one. What the hell happened to you guys? It's not my fault. We couldn't see them. Only their eyes. Come on out now, Vargas. You gotta get back. I got this. I'll see if there's another way around. Quit screwing around, Vargas. Get out of the light. They'll see you. An order. I'm sitting ducks here on the beach to stop my shelter. What do you think you're doing, Vargas? I found some security monitors. I can use the security cams to spot him. Talk to me, Yoder. Where is he? I can't see Vargas. See if you can get him to move. I'll get him. Okay. From me. Oscar! Stand down! Holy... What the hell happened to him? Hey, hey, Vargas! Look at me! Come on, man. What the hell is wrong with you? They're everywhere. Even now, watching us. We got him. We got him! Oscar, we gotta find out what happened to Vargas. Get him some help. Forget it. He's lost. Security office. Maybe there's something on the tapes. Hang in there, Vargas. Hey, there's another security monitor over there. See if you can find anything on the videotapes. We should go. We can't just leave him like that, man. If we can find out what happened, maybe we can help him. Is that? Don't know. Take a look at this. Who the hell is that? I'm guessing those are the hardings. 
So that woman just ran off with our paycheck. <laughs> Jeff, get that engine started. We're lifting off. Please, listen to me. Whoever you are, you have to take us back to the visitor center. You have no idea what you're getting into out here. I know my way. I just need you to keep us safe from these... Creatures. Oh, really? How am I supposed to do that? Electric fences are down, dinosaurs have free run of the island. None of us are safe here. Do you understand that? This is InGen Rescue Team Alpha trying to reach Dr. Jerry Harding. Obviously, the visitor center was compromised. If you're still out there, we're trying to... Dad, if there's a rescue team coming, maybe we should try to leave a trail for them or something. Jess, that's enough. If we want to keep out of the way of dangerous predators, I'm going to need to know where we're headed. Norte. North? To the coast? What for? Don't worry about it. Ugh. You're hurt. Let me help you. Help me! We're going to rest here for a minute. If we're stopping, I'll need to make a fire. It'll keep the dinosaurs away. Fine. Stay where I can see you. Siéntate. Is there anything I can do? Stay close. Do you have any family? None of your business. I just thought that if you could understand how- You love your daughter, don't you? Oh, uh, yes, of, of course. You'd do anything to make sure she grows up safe. Yeah, I would. Good. Then I know you'll do exactly as I say. And as long as you do that, I won't shoot her. I can tell by the way you talk to Jess. You, you have a daughter, don't you? Stop talking. Think of her, and you'll understand what I'm- I said shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I- You know nothing about me. We are not simple. Go, comprende? You say another word, and I will shoot you and leave you for the scavengers! Please, just calm down. Cal I didn't- Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. Please. Hey, um, I, I drank like four diet sodas earlier, and I really have to pee, like, super bad. Go. Hurry. Identify yourself. Over. Hey, hi. Um, this is Jessica Harding. Me and my dad were supposed to have been rescued. There's this woman with a gun. I, I think she's taking us up north. Okay, can you describe your location? Any buildings, roads, landmarks? Uh, landmarks. Uh, no, not really. Just regular jungle crap, like trees and dirt and stuff. Everything looks the same out here. Oh, but my dad built a fire? You might be able to see the smoke if- Yo! What do you think you're doing? Um, I'm just calling my boyfriend? Hey, stupido! Please, this is my fault. I don't want to kill you, but I will do it in a heartbeat if I have to, comprende? What I have to lose is too important. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Oh, but my dad built a fire. You might be able to see the smoke. Hello? What happened? Is that them? Was that the Hardings? Yeah, it was the girl. It didn't sound good down there. The girls said they were headed north. Let's head that way and see what we can find. I don't know, Yoder. Maybe that girl was in shock, you know? I read a study you once that said... Decaf, do me a favor and stop talking. Just head north. Hang on to your butts. This is it. You see anything, Oscar? Looks familiar. How's that exactly? Before your time. We got smoke. 
smoke. Think they're trying to signal us? I thought we were dealing with a hostage situation. What was that? Earth, headed this way. Or the chopper? Why the hell would they do that? Hang on! Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to take over for a while. Ooh. Oscar, he caps out. Oscar? Land the sec meter. Uh. Yeah, landing pads are for amateurs. Okay, come on, girl. Oh, steady. I'll do it for a flight. We know you have a great many choices when flying through dinosaur-infested airspace, and we thank you for choosing Yoder Airways. Where are we? Out. Oh, man. InGen's gonna be pissed when they get the bill for this. And yeah, then they should have gotten pterodactyl insurance. Pteranodon insurance. Huh? Can you fix it? Uh, yeah. Give me about a month. You've got an hour. There's duct tape in the survival kit. These jungles seem different. Different from what? All jungles kind of look the same to me. Hey, you remember the... Hey, hold on. We are survivors. Maybe. But we're still pretty far away from where you spotted the fire. And whatever it was, it's gone now. Let's move out. I smell smoke. Check it out. We're close. Come on. Hold up. We may not be safe. I know. That's what I have this for. Oscar, definitely signs of camp. The subjects were here. Just need to pick up their trail. We got some fresh tracks here, Oscar. I'm guessing dinos. Oh boy. I'll bet that's not gonna go over well with Mom. <laughs> Oscar, thank God. I thought I was a goner. I told you to be careful. What the hell is that thing, anyway? Whatever it is, I'm gonna kill it. Whoa, whoa, calm down, big guy. It's over, it's over. Let it go. Look at it. You won. It's not gonna hurt anyone now. Hey, thanks. Anyway, I looked everywhere. Couldn't find any sign of a trail. That way. You realize we're headed straight towards a cliff, don't you? There's no way down from here. We're gonna have to find another way around, which will take us, I don't know, at least a half a day. There's an old goat path that will take us down. What the? Oh, wow. How can you tell me about any rides like this, Dad? 
Well, none of the rides are ready for the public. I, I didn't want to get your hopes up. That path was ancient, carved into the stone. It survived storms, earthquakes. Look, it's, it's too late to go around and it's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Just use the radio, contact the rescue team. It is our best chance of survival. Down there, we can ride this contraption to get us down to that exit. We're gonna ride it? That lever, it looks like it would set the tracks to stop at that exit. Yes, but that's the emergency lever. Besides, it's obviously not ready for people to use. Well, it looks like the only way. You find us a safe way down, or I'll throw you down. If I can get the power on, I might be able to set the, the ride to maintenance mode from up here. What's maintenance mode? It'll switch the tracks, same as the emergency lever. Basically, it lets the employees use the tracks for work and repairs instead of for fun. But I don't see any cars on the main track, Dad. Get the power on. We're still going? Yeah, it's getting dark. We cannot go back the way we came, and it sounds like the dinosaurs are getting ready to hunt. Are they hunting us? Well, they're still a good ways off, but we shouldn't stick around here for long. Listen, if we're going to make it to the coast, we are going to have to work together to make it there alive. Understood? You, come with me. We're going to get some cars on the track. There, stand by the lever. You're going to help me get the cars on the track. Hey, Dad, what are these cars for? They don't have any seats. My guess is those are utility carts. We gotta get them off the track and load in some cars we can actually sit in. I think that's right. Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What are you gonna do if the rescue team shows up? What? I mean, they probably heard that noise. Let's... Not worry about the rescue team right now. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. Whoa. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip.
It's okay, sweetheart. I've got you. I got you. We go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. Hit you once when you want, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's, and it's jammed. I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and... Billy! We are not leaving without decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh, man. I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. Eddie's! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper. Now. I've got no power. I'm on it. Try it now. Woo, we got power. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why 
don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who die beside him. The skulls are for the people who die because of him. Tell her, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... Listen, don't do this. Oscar gets a little... Look, there was his time in Bogota. These men were razzing him, getting in the way, and then they weren't. Know what I mean? Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy. This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Hey, I never joke about my job. Besides, Oscar's the funny one. Hmm. Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Riot. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some... complications. Who are you? Just your friendly neighborhood rescue team. At your service, ma'am. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is- Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, ma'am. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Yeah, I'm not sure having you help is such a good idea. Uh, she needs you to carry boxes and stuff, not bring fugitives to justice. Let me help. All right, all right. Are you always such a pain in the ass? Not always. Sometimes I'm a total bitch. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh yeah, watch what happens if we don't find any food soon. I could probably get you some dino burgers. Seriously, I'm so turning the tables on the next dinosaur that tries to eat me. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me, if we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay.
Hey, Oscar, was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. I can't tell you how many times I tried convincing him. The park should be a nature preserve. No theme park attractions, no cages. Hammond never really cared about the marvels I created for him. It's always been about the money. Hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. So that girl was right. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. They gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. I mean, what was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this isn't the first... Dr. Sorkin... As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Huh. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Well, obviously that's true. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder, but perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He... Told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Pens. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I... 
I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So you can really speak dinosaur? We've been doing behavioral tests using various parasaur calls, playing them through the speakers around the pen. We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. <laughs> to your assistant. Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Activate the danger speakers. Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Scene. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not going to let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. 
I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Son of a... Hey! <sighs> what the hell? No problem. You got this. Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. Good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! We're down here!
are those poor people? We have to get down from here and away from these raptors. Now. I know. The important thing is to remain calm. We have time to figure this out. Man, the raptors! Look! God! They're trying to bring the tower down! It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. We're lucky that chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. How are you holding up, honey? I want to go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the pad. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry! Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three! Uh, you've got to be freaking kidding me! Dad, what are we going to do? Try again. On three. Ready? One, two... No, Jess, wait! No! I'm fine, Dad! Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. That's holding! Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way, I'm gonna jump for it! Thanks. Okay, now up and over. I'm okay. Run, Dr. Sorkin! Come on, they're right behind you! <laughs> Dr. Harding, the door! <laughs> Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier anyway. <laughs> How'd she make it out? But first, I gave her a push. I'm surprised you'd take the time to rescue her, what with how nice she was to you and all. Who says it was a rescue? So, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it. I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show. No fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. I should see if the girl's okay. Barbasol. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top.
sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. <laughs> the lady has a secret stash, but what the hell is it? Damn it, Oscar, I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? You gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Dios mío. They open doors. Should have stayed in bed. Locked. Smart. Dios mío, I won't mind that bed. He left me alone. Idiotas. At least one of them pulled me out of there. Not sure I'd do the same. Looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask Injun? You know what? I don't have to tell you anything! Look, lady, I don't need you to tell me anything. 
Like I said, I'm sure the eggheads at InGen will fill in the blanks. No! You don't need to do that. Embryos. They're dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Look, Yoder. Billy, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. You turn that over to Injin. You get a pat on the back. Maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos, and as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. Well, as long as we're getting no one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally, I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He's awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. 
I suppose we could all use a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time! Hide! Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The Lysine Contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs Lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! These animals are now part of the global ecosystem, whether we like it or not. We can't expect them to exist outside of it. There's not an environment on Earth, including this one, that can maintain equilibrium with, with these animals around. Invasive species, it, it doesn't even begin to describe the problem. We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then. A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Tell me this. Did you reverse the Lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the Pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I gonna have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. All right. Supposing there's a dinosaur that can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water through ocean currents, sharks... Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever. 20 days ago, 
Would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I fear that hard to imagine? No, I suppose not. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. This may be just a job for you, Jerry, but these animals are my life. I can't just watch them die, no matter the circumstance. You can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species, let alone whole groups of them, regardless of how they came to be here. No one has that right. Look, let's just agree to disagree for now. But I'll have to tell InGen when this is all over. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Stop eating? Move! Nice moves out there. Like a ballet dancer or something. Ah. Uh, thanks. Damn, you're lucky. You ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Yeah, yeah, relax. I, uh... I, um... You lost it. You lost it?! It must have fallen out. Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it! 
Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. that you let fall out of your pocket. Sorry, I guess I was a little preoccupied with a giant, prehistoric people-eater breathing down my neck. Okay, so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic. Just go! And hurry! Place like this. Got it! Go open the door! <laughs> I got it! Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him. Okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey. Thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. Just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too. Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay. We can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. the holdup? It's nothing. It's just a different, uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So, you're stuck. Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. What about that thing there? Maybe you have to prime it before turning it on, like an oil pump or something. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. All right, I got it now. Close your eyes, you're about to lose your...
Night vision. What's going on? Dad? Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? <laughs> I'll close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. Rocket Jurassic Park's only unofficial radio station. Just a reminder before we sign off, Parklings, if you're not on the boat by 7, you're not going to be on the boat at all. I've got a little something special for all you last-minute Packers out there, a personal favorite of mine, and I'll see you all on board. Damn it, Artie. He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. This show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We had to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? I don't buy it. You don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cooking. That wasn't her fault. That was Seminilla. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedry. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos on the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedry guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. You're pretty self-righteous for a thief. I wouldn't be a thief if you hadn't stolen this island from my people in the first place. I didn't steal anything. The Costa Rican government rented this place to InGen. And you did their dirty work, didn't you? I did my job, just like I'm doing now. Really? And how many people are you going to kill today? Shut the hell up, or I'll start counting with you. Whoa, whoa, no fighting. Save it for the dinos, huh? You going along with her? Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. What do you mean, ground zero? Nothing. 
we could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you, but I don't trust her. Okay, baby, count me in. Just keep her the hell away from me. He's not keeping me anywhere. But I don't want to be any closer to you than I have to. Now, now. Play nice, you two. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. Let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shit. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. Where is it? I know it. <laughs> yes. wasn't so lucky. What the? Amazing. I've never seen them afraid before. You're getting good at this, Jess. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. That was awesome. Uh, no problem. Okay, hon. Let the man breathe. Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding! Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. Are you gonna get a tattoo of a raptor now? I totally would. Hmm. Not a bad idea. You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do. Everyone, we have a problem. What's wrong, Laura? You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad? Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. Are you sure the power plant is the problem? It's the steam that clinches it for me, Jerry. The power could fail for a lot of reasons, but the steam comes straight from the power plant. Can we get to the power plant from here? I'm completely turned around. Yeah. 
Yes, I've been here before. It's down this way. We really ought to get moving. How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? Oscar? Hmph. You outran a T-Rex, huh, Yoder? I sure did. You know, not everyone has the training to pull something like that off, let alone the raw speed. I know, right? That's what I thought when I outran her yesterday. When I saw the helicopter crash into the jungle, I thought you guys were goners. We're fine. Hey, uh, about before, the hostage thing? I'm sorry. I was only trying to protect myself. Me and the mercs, we worked it out. Worked it out? How? Don't worry about it. We're okay, for now. That's great! So everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... <gasps> no way! Did you guys make out? We've decided that we can all work together. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? Hallway's clear, but the door to the plant is locked. Don't that just figure? Either of you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to borrow them. But, but then a dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? I was all nervous and, and anxious and stuff, and I thought it would help. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's, it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or Mom or anyone. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that. Especially at your age, but you're not an adult. You might be a young woman, uh, uh, physically, but emotional maturity yeah, Don't, takes time. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids? Have you even talked to Sarah lately? This year, even? Should you be lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn. Uh, uh plant's gonna blow, right? We ain't got time for this after school special crap. That vent. It may lead to the other side of the door. Hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. Even before I started getting in trouble, Mom was crazy overprotective. She wants me home at 7 o'clock. It still doesn't excuse doing things you know are wrong. Jerry, please? That's what makes me so uh, angry about this. I know you know better. Yeah, but Mom Jerry, doesn't, please. and you're not I there. Really need At least to when I'm in trouble, you. she has to look up from her bridge game for... All right, enough! I apologize, I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess. What? Well done, Jess. Thanks. 
Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said! Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. Sorry. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. That looks like the power console. Up there, at the top of the ladder. We can't pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. All right. Looks like we pressed open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. We need to vent the steam before we turn the power on. <laughs> Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure, we open pickle jars too. Okay, on three. One, two, three! Stop! Stop! We got this! Oh, I mean stop! It shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. Try it again. That's it! The steam has been vented. All we need now is to turn the power back on. You, uh, need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. One. It's the press to close light. It means the charge is pumped. Right. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. If you say so. Grab Derek! Run for the ladder, Nemo! Before they can cut you off! I'm sorry! They're completely fried. Thank you. Should these doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. No, no way. That's suicide. He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. 
I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared, then. Can we at least talk about this? You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. I could get down that way. I've made jumps that wide before. All right. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract them. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. Give me a diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least. Got it. Hey. Thanks. He makes it back. Try not to worry. The man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Oscar! Company! Hey! Hey, hey, check this out, huh? Nice, tasty drumstick! Too slow, you dumb lizard! Actually... That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Damn it. Thank you. 
What happened there? That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. Let me see your hand. It'll be fine. I promise. Are you... okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just- just give me five minutes and I'll be fine! I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts? We're replaceable? We don't think that! We don't! Tell him! Oscar was worth a thousand of you, but he knew it! And he still died to save your ass! So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him! You don't deserve okay, to! Okay, okay! What can we do? Nothing! I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? Hey, it smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you- Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like- Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yes, yes he does. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary, maybe an emu, but without eggs I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... but they're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Laura, now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something has laid eggs in his abdomen. Something what? The victim is being kept alive by- Decaf! A... I'm sorry? The victim is Daniel Cafaro. Another throwaway grunt. Oh my god. I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought- You about this? You knew? I'll kill you! What's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We were about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Billy, listen, I get it. You're angry, but we need Laura alive. She's the only one here familiar with what we're dealing with. And what good does it do us if she keeps that intel to herself? Anyway, this witch is a liar. 
She's lied to all of us, put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, Ah, I... shut it. Is that what this is all about? She put you in danger? You're acting out of vendetta here? Oh, don't turn this around on me. I'm doing this for Decaf and Vargas. What, what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us! I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! That's just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Injen. And now we're all suffering for it. Still! Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. It wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. Just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should... She's right. Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones are- Too far are... away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. They're coming through the vent! Pass the door. Terry, get that. 
straight open! I'm on it. I need somebody to break the lock. We'll find that something! The air tank! What? Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! <clears throat> be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. I'll circle this one as a candidate. Okay, Laura. I hope you're right. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? 
Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. Down there, I have to go find her. What? Back down there with those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing, surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel. We were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees, my people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I loved the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. I didn't realize this island had been inhabited before. 
InGen moved your people? They promised us homes and medicine. Education. They didn't keep their promise. I guess from a point of view they did. But the homes were slums and the medicine was extra or half used or contaminated. We had schools but no teachers. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. Spared no expense. Hammond. The man who made all this. He runs Injun. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs. Not on my people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him. But some part of him had been lost. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. I don't want to seem indifferent, but I really need to find Jess. <laughs> You're right. I'm not always so, uh, como se dice, uh, talkative. Fine. Let's get moving then. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swarm. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fort of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you look at this? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. Hold up. I hear something. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. 
If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is gonna be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. We're gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it, get that elevator back up here! Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Looks like a Mosasaur. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. There are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Information. Sure could use some now. Huh. Very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic Era as daily key codes. Okay, so the plaque for the Paleozoic Era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. Permian, sounds right. Okay, best guess. This is my best guess. I'll try it at the elevator. Alright! New code. Let's keep it simple. <gasps> hey! Don't open that. Are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. Who's just kidding around? Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. Dad, my ears. Attention. What's going on? The Lagoon Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. 
giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. This is so cool. Careful, I'll lead. Cool. Look at that. I want to speak with Hammond. No, this can't wait. Can you connect me to Mr. McGuire? Or no, Peter Ludlow. Please hurry. No, look. This is Dr. Laura Oh, Sorkin. I have a bad have feeling about this. Park. I am still on the premises. Get me somebody. Mr. Parker, I do not need rescuing. I do not want the bombing waylaid. I want it stopped. What? It's not contaminated. It's locked from this the inside. It's a wildlife preserve. These animals are not diseased. They are extremely endangered. You're not listening to me! Looks like an intercom up here. What? Where? Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate! What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? Do their rights outweigh any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms. Majestic as they may be, alive as they may be. We brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under reign for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. And we have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. We've got to do something. Like what? We're stuck between two locked doors. <sighs> we wouldn't be in this mess if I had killed her when I had the chance. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? What are they saying? Are they going to stop the bombs? Laura. Laura, please, listen to them. Listen to reason. You're being irrational. Nature is irrational. Rationalizations haven't gotten results. I think it's time to put matters back in nature's hands. Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly express the consequences of threatening this island. 
I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. <gasps> Plan B. This island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. I locked the system down. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to- No, Jerry. This isn't up for debate. We have to show InGen- Look out! <gasps> Everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What, you want an I told you so? I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team killed in action. Save one. Myself. Bravo team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. 90 minutes. Understood, sir. What's happened? Who did you call? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I... I don't understand. You're... You're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it. No, you are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! Everyone stay back! I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. Once I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't 
Don't do this! Run! Son of a... Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado, we're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will, come for us. Oh, Jerry. Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh... Doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look! There's diving here! No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Come on. How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. Do we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep, and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. Wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. I'll be right back. Feeder program. Hatchery B, Pool 4. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. That ought to keep it busy. What do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you could do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Jess, I, I know I don't say this enough, but I love you. Maybe I seem so overbearing, but it's because Sarah got away from me. And I don't want the same thing to happen with us. Now, right now, all that matters is that we get through this. Everything else, we can work that out later. It's small stuff compared to this. I 
just... I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now, and I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal, duh. <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. I am too, but I know we'll make it with your help. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out, you'll use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them, too. Turn around.
By the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Wait. I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then... I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. Ah! Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. I am sorry I did not see your true self long ago. I could have saved us all a lot of trouble and kicked your ass to begin with. Oh, come on, don't make this easy for me. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? They are worth more than your pathetic life. I would trade your life even for Oscars. No more talk. Shut up and fight. All right. Playtime's over. fighting over oh huh what that what's that I can have it why so generous all of a sudden <laughs> you want to be the hero yes you want to break our deal do you feel that oh my god stop you want to make new friends Yoder and Nima
We made it. Believe me, the whole world is better off without that can. Guys? Not me, Joey. Not my daughter. Guys? Nima, I made a promise. I'll figure something out. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! How much did you say those embryos were worth? 